Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this was this problem that says determine the reactions at the roller support A and the ball and socket joint at D and the tension in the cable BC for the plate. So looking at this problem, you can already tell that you have a reaction going up at D and a reaction going up at A. And this cable has a tension going up from B towards C. And I'm going to call this forces respectively F of A, F of D, and F of B. I don't know why they made point C be that point up there, so irrelevant, but whatever. So basically, we have these three variables, F of C, F of B, sorry, and F of D. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use our static equations in order to find three equations that helps, uh, help us uh, find these three variables. So let's start with some of the forces in the C is equal to zero, right? We know that F of A actually, yeah, F of A plus F of B plus F of D minus the 900 Newton force minus the 600 Newton force is equal to zero. So that means that F of A plus F of B plus F of D is equal to 1500. And we have one equation. Let's call this equation one. Assuming counterclockwise is positive, some of the moments around the X is equal to zero and it is equal to um, around the X axis. So you guys know what the x-axis is, what's creating a moment. The first moment is created by the 900 Newton force and it's creating a moment of 900 times 0 0.1. 0 0.1 because it's the distance from the x-axis to where the force is being applied. That difference is 0 0.1. And it is negative, let me erase that equal sign, move it a little bit to the left equals it is negative because it's trying to turn the assembly clockwise. The second moment is created by the 600 Newton force and at a distance of 0.5 from the x-axis and it's also negative because it's also trying to turn it clockwise. The distance of 0.5 is the distance from the x-axis to where the force is applied. That distance is given by 0.5 in the problem. And the last is the FD, FD times 0.8, because that's the distance between the x-axis and FD, distance from here to where the force takes place is 0.8, which is 0.5 plus 0.3. And it is positive because it's trying to turn the assembly counterclockwise. So we have a, a, an equation with only one variable. That's cool. So let's solve for f of d to get 487.5 newtons. Cool. Now, let's try and find another one, which is sum, assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments in the y is equal to zero. So we're doing the moments about the y-axis now. So about the y-axis was creating a, a moment well, let's start with the 600 Newton force times the distance from the y-axis, which is given by 0.2. And it's trying to turn it clockwise. So let's say it's negative. The 600, um, I'm sorry, the 900 Newton force now times 0.6 is also negative. Distance from here to here is 0 0.6. And the last force is f of a. I'm going to write it down here, which is plus f of a times 1. 
exactly 1, which is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2. That's the distance between where f of a takes place and the y-axis. So if you solve for f of a, you're going to get that it is equal to 660 newtons. And with um, the value of f of d and the value of f of a, we plug them into equation 1, and you're going to get that f of b is equal to 1500 minus f of d minus f of a. So f of b is equal to 352.5 newtons. So final answer for f of d, for f of a, and for f of b.